Hello, the detective here to take you on a guide on what happened last time on Iron Valor. The last few days have been rough for me, to say the least. And after what happened back in Candlekeep, where I thought I'd murdered Quill with my own hands, had left me a little shook. But time stops for no man, and I was made to press on. As we made our way through Candlekeep to find who knows what, anything really to help us, maybe the people who took the, the Book of the Crinsled Princess, I guess, well, I saw Quill again, and he led me into a library. A classroom of sorts? Anyways, there I found a book written by an unknown author on the events of Wisteria Vale. So, like we always do, we promptly found a way to enter. As you make it up here, all is quiet. It's not as, like... Normally, you could hear like the sh the shuffling of of a uh, Princess Siota's uh, underlings and her followers, and you can hear like maybe the sounds of somebody screaming from whatever nightmare book they got trapped in. But now everything's quiet, eerily so, as if it's a calm before the storm. As you guys walk down the hallways, all the all that you hear is your footsteps, occasionally crunching against pages strewn about. Rasputin, you see Quill. Down the hall, he's walking. Big smile on his face, enjoying himself, having a good day. And as he walks down, he feels your eyes look at him and he turns and he looks at you and his eyes lock with yours. And, and as his eyes lock with yours, they get really wide again and they start filling with tears once more. And before he's able to say anything, his hand snatches up over his mouth. And his eyes are really wide. And he just takes off running down the hall. Once inside the book, I couldn't help but get carried away by all the festivals happening in Wisteria Vale. So much so that I may have forgotten to enlighten my companions on the fate of everybody in Wisteria Vale. It didn't really seem to matter though, considering everyone seemed to catch on rather fast as uh, the villagers started to act strangely, you could say. Mm. Yeah, whenever someone says there's something wrong with this place, oh, people start staring at guys, us, for guys, one thing. Guys, they're oh. over the- they're at the- uh -huh. Oh my god, they're coming! They're coming! They're coming! They're coming. What the they're coming. Fuck? Run! 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 Run out the town! Guys. I don't we like to this! Uh, uh, <laughs> everyone, we uh, have to leave! Come you turn, on! You turn, uh, uh, I, I forget who it's- I forget, I forget which one of you sees it first, but yeah. You see all of them just kind of lined up. <laughs> On the side of the street, all just staring at you. Oh my god, quick, pretend to sleep. Uh -huh. Everybody sleep, sleep. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sleepy. Uh -huh. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh, so uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Get on the ground, man. Get on the Shut up. Go to sleep. 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 Um, as you stand there, as, as you all lay there, we ran from the Mahavavangri villages and to the front gates where we locked ourselves behind the iron doors. There I had remembered where to find Quill in this town and that he had worked at the inn as a, as a keeper of sorts and that's where he spent most of his days. As I did though and was about to explain that we should maybe try and head there, Quill decided to make an entrance all on his own where he promptly invited us back to the set inn. I wonder what he could be wanting to tell us. What I can tell you is that, uh, is that Quilla works in the tavern. So why didn't we just go to the tavern first? I got distracted. Yes, you did. <laughs> well, uh, did you see a tavern in there? Yeah, what? yeah, that big we were right behind there. it. So we gotta go back in there. Uh, oh. You start to hear laughter. <laughs> uh, fuck you, Sam, you little shit. <laughs> Who's laughing? Uh, and 
uh, what the fuck? from oh, invisibility, shit. you see uh, Quill. <laughs> oh, wow. But no, I haven't seen, I haven't seen faces, new faces in so long. What year is it? He will, poof, fall to the ground. <laughs> he'll, and he'll stand up and take a bow. He'll go, welcome to Wisteria Vale. Okay, so what now? We found him. Yes, what now indeed? Well, I wanted to save him. Say, um, drinks? Do you want drinks? We should go to the tavern. I don't Can you make drink. Me stop being at the tavern, he sat us down at a table where he poured drinks and ordered food like a king. However, as we chatted, I had quickly realized that the rumors weren't rumors at all. He really had gone mad, which is very sad to see your idol go down such a dark path and for it to turn out to be true. But that can't be right. After all, he, he led me here. He called me here. He said he needed help. I can't just, I can't just leave him and everyone seemed to think that it wasn't as it seemed. So we invited him to a drinking game. But is a drinking game really going to solve this mystery? Hey. Hey. Well, let's play a drinking game. Ah, now we're talking. See? See? This could be fun. Amelia steps back for a second. She's like, well, I had a different plan, but there we go. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh-huh. what's your what's your game? See, ah, there you go. The little one's in. I still don't drink. That's all right. You can drink water. That doesn't. That... It's fine. No pressure. Uh, listen. Here's the thought. Um, we play high stakes. Okay. So we could either do like never have I ever or something like that. We could do truth or dare. But the problem is on both of them, my friend here puts down his own truth spell and nobody's allowed to lie. Oh, that is interesting. (laughs) I like the way you think, Eloa. No, I don't like that game. Why not? Scared? No, it just doesn't seem any fun. You wanted to play a game. Yes, you wanted but... to get to know us better, didn't you? We're your guests. I mean, if we're going to be stuck here, we might as well get to know the real. I thought you were in you? control. It's not like you could ever lose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What would you rather play? Tell me what you want to He says, I'm fine with the game. I don't like the truth serum. Amelia shakes her head. You plan to use magic. <laughs> <sighs> All right, fine. I won't use any magic. I won't cast any spells. Mm, mm, that's very specific terminology, saying you won't cast any spells. No magic or deals off. Okay, no magic. Inside check! <laughs> Wait. You can show, like, everybody anything. What if they bring us stronger drinks than they bring you? I'm doing so bad at rolling. My insight is a nine. Guess we gotta trust him. Oh, he's telling the truth. Okay. It turns out that this drinking game really did solve our problems, although not how we intended it to. You see, we we told Quill not to use magic and he said he wouldn't. And obviously we believed him. But he did. All of his drinks seemed to be a bit on the faker side compared to ours. However, as Elowen had to go relieve herself out of the public eye, she heard something from downstairs in the basement. And so she discreetly made her way past the cooks to go see what it was. I wonder what could be in the basement making those noises. You can't hold it down. You can't hold it down, Elowen. How does this look? Not oh good! <laughs> <laughs> Elowen, you you started this game. Oh my god. I was like, <laughs> I should have kept mine. Oh my god. Excuse me. And it's just gonna like run out somewhere. Just like 
<laughs> just go like behind the bar or some shit. Like just as subtle as they possibly can be. This is oh, probably Oh, you go not behind the bar? Awesome. No, maybe not behind. Yeah, sure. No, no, no. That, that totally works. Where, 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 where are you? I go behind okay. the bar. Okay, we'll get we'll get back to you though, Ellen. You know, he he's he's he like like he he's he's just kind of looking at you, talking, kind of twirling your hair a little bit, flashing your flashing your silver and all this stuff, and he doesn't seem like the brightest guy. So by the time he by the time he's realized that you're not supposed to be down there, you've already slipped past. It's crazy. It's There's just not even cheese, cheese in that room. It's just cheese. There's a there's another room, Ellen. <laughs> it's just cheese. You don't know if there's a it's person cheese. in there though. That's true. Um, Ellen is gonna go to that door. What the? What? Did you guys see it? Did you guys see it? Oh my you guys god! See it? Oh my god! Elowen, you open the door. Yeah. And and, oh. and this is what you see. You see oh. hundred. You see a room full of tavern workers and and bar patrons and and and. Every everyone that was upstairs oh. is there's dozens of there's there's dozens of there's dozens of them down here. It was supposed to be a funny ha ha. What is it? <laughs> you you you, know, you did call it. And as you open the door, one turns to look at you, and then another turns to look at you, and then another turns to look at you. And they Close all the freaking to door. <laughs> oh, it's just like look at you. And there it was in the basement. Clones of all the villages. We knew something was up, but this is quite the surprise as you might expect. It's really sad to see how badly Quill doesn't want to see his past repeated. Or maybe someone's forcing him to relive it against his will, and that's why I've been called here to help him. No one really knows, but I guess. We'll find out next time on Iron Valor.